now what we can do come here and go into this create a new file sorry new folder in the main directory by the name utils and inside that we have to create a one file in this we go to keep all the normal functions like interaction with the contract connecting wallet all those functions we're going to write in this utils and i'm going to call this file name is going to be let's say app app feature js and that we're going to build all the functionality so what we're going to do is first we have to import couple of things first ethers and that's coming from let's say ethers not from harder and here you can see we have installed this okay i have installed the wrong one if we have to install with s so it's only ether so simply grab this one and we have to uninstall this package first uninstall ether and here we have uninstall that okay it's uninstall that and now we have to in import the this one so npm i ethers with s this is the package we need it's working fine so we have this package now working and that's what we have imported now we have to import web3 model and that's coming from web3 model we have to import the this is all the export we have doing from this context and that's what we have to import in the api feature so booked boot token address boot token api all these we have to import simply grab this copy and paste and this is coming from the context context let's import that import this one so here we have all the ABI and the addresses of the contract now things looking good so far here we have to import one more thing so let's come here import and we need to import the width ABI and that's coming from the same directory simply copy that and here we have to build a logic so what we have to do is we have to export the const with address and in that we're going to simply pass this so if we come back to the single swap token here we have the token addresses so we need this one with nine and this is the address we need simply grab this one and that's what we're going to pass it here and we already have the abi so we're going to simply call the abi which is coming from here so that's the with nine token close this one and that's what we're going to import here so that looks pretty good so we are done with all these general setups now let's start writing the function for connecting wallet so let's check if wallet is connected export cons check wallet connected it's going to be async function try and catch console log out the install wallet if window.ethereum is not there then we have to simply return this error message console log of this install metamask and in this i want to return the entire error object so error so that's the simple thing the same thing we are doing here so i'm going a little faster here now the second thing we have to do is const accounts and we have to get all the accounts which is coming from window ethereum request method and we have to call this accounts eth accounts once we get the account we have to simply call it store it as a variable and we want to call it first account and here we have the account one because all the accounts will come in the form of array and we have to get the first account and from here we are going to return the account and that's the only thing we have to do here in check if wallet is connected simply close this one and now we have to write the other function so let's call this connect wallet and connect wallet async We'll have this try and catch we have to console log out the entire error and here we have to do the same thing so simply open this one and we have to get the entire code copy and paste here and here the only change we have to do in the method so let's change this method to request accounts and that's the only thing you have to do looking fine to me so we are done with this fun two functions first check if wallet is connected and this function i want to call every time so whenever someone will visit our application this function will call but this current wallet function will going to attach on the button so that looks fine we have this two function ready now let's come here now we have to start communicating with the contract and let's connect the contract so we'll say connecting with 
bow token because we have multiple contract we don't have only one contract so this is the one we have we have to build export const connecting with bow token async it will have a try and catch we have to console log of the entire error object and in that first thing we have to do is to get the contract and this is how we can do const web3 model new web3 model we have to build the connection and then we have to build the provider that's new ether dot provider in that we have to pass the connection now once we have the connection we have to get the signer provider dot get signer and then finally we have to simply get the contract so contract and here we're going to call create another function so let's call this function fetch boo contract and that we have to pass the signer and this is the function we have to create fetch boo contract so let's come here and let's create here fetching contract and we'll say boo token fetching create the function so export const and it will take this signer or provider it will take this normal error function new ether dot contract and that we have to pass this boo ab addresses so make sure this is the order you have to follow first you have to provide the token address then you have to provide the abi and then you have to provide the signature or validator if you don't provide in this order you will get an error so that's the function is ready for interacting with the first token and that looks good to me now simply what we can do simply because we have to write multiple function and all the function is going to have the same less structure so it's better to what we can do simply grab this one and paste here and the only changes we have to do is the name so this will call life life this will become life life and this will become life and here we have to pass the right abi so this is the address and this is the abi and that's it that's the only thing you have to do this function is ready and here we have to return the contract from this function so we can use wherever we want whether we want in the navigation bar footer or in the context return the contract contract and simply grab this one and do the same thing here so this is the two function is ready for both for both the tokens simply copy this and paste here and here we have to simply change the name again so this time we're going to call this one swap single swap not multiple swap and that's what we're going to paste here and this is going to be called single swap and here we have to change the address and the abi so that's the single swap simply grab this one and paste here change the name so this is the third single swap is ready now let's work on the multiple hop so you know the drill simply grab the entire code grab this one and paste here and this will become and this will become iwth the interference interface sorry interface and we'll say with and we have to change this one as well we have to change this one and that's how we are interacting with the our interface so we have our interface ready looking good so far simply come here and here we go to pass the with address and pass this abi so that looks good simply grab and paste one more time and this will going to call and we have the another token because we have two token we have die and with so we need to get both the contract instances and both the contract addresses so we already have the die token and what i can do i can simply change the name and change this one as well and change the name this one as well is become die so that's ready but in this we have to pass the address the die address and we already have the abi we can use the same abi the same interface we have created but we need to provide the die address so what we can do come here we'll say const and we'll say die address we're going to take it the variable so let's come back to the contract and we have the address of the die token simply grab this entire one and that's what we're going to simply paste here so that looks fine to me no more error we have and here we're going to simply replace this one so that looks pretty good we can use the same interface because all the two erc20 tokens are have the same interface so it looks fine to me so that's working absolutely great we have successfully interacting with the contracts close this one and close this one 
close this one close this one close this one and close this one so make sure to check once more time check all the function we have created it's working or not so right now i'm not creating this multi-hop contract interaction function we're going to create letter so that looks fine to me all things are looking good we have all these imports all these functions and here we have all the interaction with the contract tokens we have this all this looking fine to me so this is our api features now simply close this one and this is the contract we have simply close this one and now things are looking good so let's have a look let's come back to the context and now we can go to this actual context